Hey boys. I was just uh, showing you a new toy I got. It kind of got me spoiled now. I got the um, DeWalt Green Laser. And um, it speeds things along quite a bit. <clears throat> it's kind of a luxury I never bothered with before, but not much anyway. And and uh, for one thing, the Green Laser, I don't know if you can see it. Let me zoom in now. You can't see it. But it's a Green Laser. And um, what a difference than the red. Uh, you could see it in daylight hours way much better but uh instead of squinting and trying to look all the time i got my receiver so i just have that sitting on a stump right now um just for a quick ref reference so it's it's not on a tripod but uh it does the job of a rotary laser so you have the actual level line and it also has the uh, cross line lasers so I don't, I don't see where I'd need another laser level again. I think that does everything. Uh, got myself a little receiver. Nice little simple one. And, uh, let's see. Am I in the neighborhood? No. Gotta go down. Gotta go down. So, it's, this is simple too. Just beeps fast if it needs to go down. And where it's perfectly level, there it beats half speed to go up, and that's level right there. Bingo. Um, I used it to level out the septic bed for the tank. I dug this hole uh, mainly with the excavator, but uh, I touched it up around the one corner. I needed a little more width and length as well. This is something I get complaints about a lot. I <laughs> get it. <laughs> anyway, um, I was always using this level with my 2x4s strapped to the end. 2x4s keeps it out of the dirt. I did the trenches for the footings with this. Um, it's okay. Um, Ecotech level. I don't know who makes that. It's, it, I like it because it's actually got that a little bit of a curved bubble tube versus a straight one so um it's supposed to be a lot more accurate than just a straight bubble tube which is fine so i still break that out to kind of double check the laser and do a little cross reference and so i'm going to get the tank in probably today i'm going to lower it in with some straps by hand i should probably film it in case it turns out to be one of those funny accident videos who knows? I'm klutzy. And it's a, right here is the ditch for the um, effluent drain that's going to go way back to the uh, drain field, the leach field for the septic. And um, I also have to devise a little pipe system for uh, direct access um, with a root killer that's going to have to be kind of like a, maybe a once a month thing, or I'm not sure exactly how much, but. Uh, I'm not going to put it through the plumbing system and through the tank and who knows how long it's going to take and, and to what degree it, it you know um, if it's diluted to a point um, by the time it comes out of the, the septic tank water I don't know so I'm, I'm just going to skip all that and um, just have direct access maybe just pop the lid off the distribution box um, maybe I'll set that just a hair high and leave that exposed so you can just go direct with the root killer and um, and it never even goes to your septic tank and stays strong, strong mixture, I guess. Because as you can see, I got a lot of trees, a lot of roots. It'd be foolish to do a septic right here without some kind of um, root plan in mind. So that's mine. That's about it for now. Uh, this, this clay comes out and these big like clay rocks when you dig it when it's moist. So I had to dig it low and then repack it with some dry dirt in four inch lifts and compacted it by hand. So now it's a really flat, nice, compact bed that the tank will sit on. And uh, I know it'll be perfectly level like it's supposed to be. So I'll check back later when, probably when the septic's done. And uh, I guess some guys coming to pour the footings in the uh, 
maybe probably a little less than two weeks now. And things are moving along now. I'll be glad to start going up and uh, stop going down into the ground. And uh, by the way, while I'm thinking of it, let me see Nash's. Nash is hiding out there like he's spying. There he is, like a little spying polar bear. Um, do, don't forget to uh, stop in or something. See, just say hi to your Uncle Bobby. Just came to mind. Thought I'd remind you. Send him a hello. And uh, while you're at it, tell him I said I'll, I'll be saying a prayer for him. Okay, back to work. Bye-bye.